In this video, let us derive Hamilton's equation of motion. These set of equations are also called as Hamilton's canonical equations. We all know the Hamiltonian function h is a function of qj, pj and t which I am going to take it as equation number 1. And here qj's are generalized coordinates and pj's are generalized momentum and t is the time. Next, let us know what is a chain rule or a function of a function rule. This rule will help us to find the differentials here. If we have a function which depends upon more than one variable and we are asked to find out the differential for it, the formula goes like this df is equal to df by du into du plus df by dv into dv. This formula or this chain rule will help us to do the differentials here. Using this chain rule, let us differentiate this equation 1 now. Now taking differential of equation 1 h, we get dh is equal to summed over j dou h by dou qj into dqj plus summed over j dou h by dou pj into dpj plus dou h by dou t into dt. Let us take it as equation number 2. And we know the Lagrangian function L is a function of qj, qj dot and time t. And here qj's are generalized to coordinates and qj dots are generalized velocities and time t. Let us take it as equation 3 and let us take a differential for this equation 3. Now, let us find the differential of L using the chain rule. When we do, we get summed over j dou L by dou qj into dqj plus summed over j dou L by dou qj dot into dqj dot plus dou L by dou t into dt. We will get it like this. But the generalized momenta are given by pj equal to dou L by dou qj dot and pj dot is equal to dou L by dou qj. Let us substitute this value in place of in place of dou L by dou qj. I am going to substitute pj dot. In place of dou L by dou qj dot, I am going to substitute this pj. Upon substituting the values, we have got dl is equal to summed over j pj dot dqj plus summed over j pj dqj dot plus dou L by dou t into dt. Let me take it as equation number 4. And we all know the Hamiltonian function h is related to the Lagrangian function L by a relation h is equal to summed over j pj qj dot minus L. Let us take it as equation number 5 and let us take differential for this h also. Now, taking the uh, differential of equation 5, we get dh is equal to summed over j. Here you have two variables which we will 
differentiate by uv method that is udv plus vdu so it is udv pj into dqj dot plus summed over j qj dot into dpj minus dl and the value of dl is available in equation 4 let us substitute in this one so what i have done is i have substituted the value of dl summed over j pj dot dqj plus summed over j pj dqj dot plus do l by do t into dt in this equation when we substitute we get dh is equal to summed over j pj dqj dot plus summed over j qj dot dpj minus summed over j pj dot dqj minus summed over j pj dqj dot plus do l by do t into dt in this we could see this term and this term are similar with a negative sign so they will get cancelled the what is left is dh is equal to summed over j qj dot dpj minus summed over j pj dot dqj sorry this should be a minus term because minus is there so minus do l by do t into dt let me name this equation as equation 6 now look at equation number 2 and equation number 6 both of them represents differential of h this is also dh this is also dh so i can compare the coefficients of equations of 2 and 6 see you have a dqj here another dqj here dpj here and dpj dt here and dt so comparing equation 2 and 6 we get see here uh, dpj see this dpj and dpj are same so qj dot is equal to 2h by do pj then comparing this term and this term which are where dqj's are uh, coefficients we get pj dot equal to minus do h by do qj and see the last term comparing this you get do h by do t is equal to minus do l by do t so do h by do t is equal to minus do l by do t this set of three equations are called hamilton's canonical equations hamilton's canonical equations these equations are highly helpful when compared to lagrange's equation because lagrangian equations are second order differential equations whereas the hamiltonian equations what we have got here is the set of two first order differential equation which makes our problem simple 